What is your one limiting belief around money that's keeping you out of abundance? Hey, everybody, I am Serene and I am your financial coach and wealth strategist. What I do is I help you. I take you on a transformational journey through my wealth trifecta framework that brings you from lack to abundance within your spirit, soul and money. So I want to talk about limiting beliefs around money. One of the reasons why we can't experience God's truest form of abundance is because we have limiting beliefs around our money, right? My limiting belief used to be that there was never enough money. And that is because of how I was raised, how my how my sight to see things were trained and how I lived life in my checkbook through that lens. I lived my life through the lens that there will be never enough money. So by living that way, no matter how much money I made, I would always have never enough. There was just never enough to go around. There was always some bill to be paid, some something to be done with it, right? And that is what kept me out of experience God's abundance. Abundance means to have an overflow of something, right? And a lot of us in our limiting beliefs around money keeps us out of the flow of abundance. It keeps us from perceiving seeing and experience the goodness of God's abundance according to John 10 10 that I came to give you life and life over, life more abundantly because no matter how good God give how, no, matter, no matter how good God is or no matter how much goodness God to give us all we sit back and see is what we don't have so today I want you to take that limiting belief that you have around your finances and money and I want you to measure it up against the light of God or the, the light of his word. We are to, you, we, we, the Bible tells us in the book of Corinthians, I think chapter 10, 2 Corinthians chapter 10, that we are supposed to cast down every high thought that acknowledges itself against, that exalt, exalts itself against the knowledge of God, right? That limiting belief around your money that there's never enough or whatever it is, is exalting itself against the 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 knowledge of God and the knowledge of God tells us that we have abundance in him according to John 10 10 and we have abundance in him according to 3 John 1 and 2 we we live in a very abundant life that we have the power to ability to get wealth to prosper in those things right but it's our limited beliefs what we see what we perceive around money that keeps us from fulfilling the abundant quota that God wants that God has already ordained for our life because we can never see it. And if you can never see the goodness of something or the abundance of something from a different perspective, then that thing that you want eludes you. So the abundance that you're after eludes you because you can't see it. You can't respect it. You can't honor it. You can't, you know, give it the place in your life what it needs. So that's how you start to transform that limited belief system, that limited belief you have around money um, that's keeping you out of abundance by one, acknowledging that it exists, two, giving it, acknowledging it exists, disowning it, not claiming it, using the word of God to dismantle it, and then ask God to change how you see your situation. You might not have the money you want. But baby, you probably have the money you need right now to do what you need to do. And that, in my case, in my opinion, is what I call abundance. And that, when you start doing that, that's when you start making room for more abundance. So that's all I have for this lesson. I'll probably come back and do another lesson soon because it's going to be hot this week. And recording videos is going to probably be a no. But I will try to do more about helping you dismantle and un dismantle and your limiting beliefs around money that's keeping you out of abundance. So I hope this helps. Talk to you soon. Love you to life.